cryo neuralysis actually falls under an umbrella. It's called cryoanalgesia, really meaning the application of cold for pain management. Cryo neuralysis is a specific technique in which, through a needle, we target specific nerves and apply super cold temperatures to generate an ice ball around the nerves such that we reversibly block the nerve conduction, therefore block the pain signals to the brain for a long time in the realm of weeks to months. We have a portable handheld device. It enables us to go to bedside no matter where we are in hospitals and use a imaging technique such as ultrasound, which is readily available now, find the nerves of interest and just freeze them at bedside. So it's really been a game changer. So I was born with congenital heart disease and so my first surgery was two days old and then I have had nine cardiac surgeries total, including the one that I just had. So actually Dr. Michael Ju called me. I didn't know about it before then and he had already spoke to my surgeon, Dr. Campbell, and seen if it was like an option for me. And he explained everything. And I guess some of my concerns were just that I had had some pretty serious complications in the plast, so old blues, different things. And I just wanted to make sure that it wouldn't permanently freeze my diaphragm or impact my breathing or any of those sorts of things within terms of movement or respiratory or anything. And so when he explained everything and the risks and the benefits involved, I decided, hey, why not? Let's go for it. <laughs> like even day one in ICU, I was more alert. I was sitting up sooner. I, I didn't feel as much pain. The idea of having a technique uh, that we can employ that is opioid sparing. In fact, it doesn't use any medication. It's just super cold temperatures. It is potentially a means to treat patients for a long time without any exposure to opioids at all. I would do it again. I'll just say that because in previous surgeries, I had been in a lot of pain and I had been taking hydromorphone and trauma sets and, and everything else. And I think this was great. So for me personally, I do know I will need more surgery in the future. It's an inevitable. So having an option like this, I think would be amazing for myself and obviously for other patients and cardiac patients involved. Any new intervention, there's always a healthy dose of skepticism, but there was also lots of curiosity uh, when I first uh, introduced this concept. But now with this handheld device and when I first uh, got this grant and I brought it, I showed my colleagues, Erwan was quite fascinated. And then afterwards, it was just getting that first, second patient and seeing their excellent outcomes that really made people talking. It's kind of snowballed mostly because all the, these different services are now hearing it mostly by word of mouth. Uh, and just just seeing the outcomes. I see with my eyes that patients do so much better and for the first time in days, they may be smiling after the procedure. So as a clinician, I think seeing less patient suffering has been incredibly rewarding. Yeah.